So, welcome to rainy Belfast, middle of June, and this is the weather we've got. Just going to check the Emmer again. Hopefully, yeah, there's all still in the wall, which is fantastic again. After the first four went missing, there haven't been any more gone missing. So uh, this is just amazingly positive. Nothing's been trashed, nothing's been vandalised, people have respected that. It. It's been brilliant. Where we are now with this project is, it's now, what is it, the uh, 26th of June. These Emma are going to be taken off. Uh, if you saw the previous post, obviously this frame is not going to be burnt, this frame is going to stay on the wall. So these Emma are going to be taken off and burnt on a different frame, the frame that Tree made. And it was going to be the case that the frame was going to be put over the bonfire site, but if you see the bonfire site at the moment, it's a bit of a, it's a little bit of a tip. Um, and also it looks like that for the first time in a number of years, they're going to have a kids bonfire somewhere in this area. So now the plan is, hopefully this will be organised on Wednesday, hopefully the plan is that the Emma will be taken off, <clears throat> maybe walked along this road, uh, and then burnt somewhere pretty close to this. The frame that we've got is tiny, it's not going to create a massive amount of uh, smoke and, and fire, heat, it's just going to be, you know, it should be, it should be alright for safety purposes, but that's the plan now, which would actually work better, because it would actually give the people uh, more of a kind of quietude in which to uh, to think about the hopes and their aspirations. If you put it next to the main fire, the danger is that it becomes a kind of like support act to the main fire and everyone just like, oh, burn them and get rid of them and then next fire. But actually, if we can do it this way and you can do it part of a, of a kid's um, celebration, then that'd actually be really good. What's interesting about this is that I never started off doing it for all kids, but little by little gradually it seems to have gravitated in that direction which is kind of interesting because if you think we're looking at notions of hope and obviously hope the kids are the future of the generation right um, and so it's kind of interesting how it's it seems to have morphed into that uh, direction if you like a little by little not wasn't intentional but again this is the great thing about doing grounded theory that you actually kind of go with the flow you 